welcome to Fox Soul's Black Music Month Minute. I'm Derrica Abraham. You may recognize my guest today from the hit reality show, Love and Hip Hop New York. But what you may not know is she is an incredibly talented singer, songwriter, author, and actress. From trending in the U.S. Top 100 music charts to becoming a five-star published author, she wears many hats. And she's here today to talk about her latest album, 4.0, and latest single, Problem. <laughs> Let me welcome Amina Butterfly. Yay. Amina, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you so much. I'm yes, you look just here. as beautiful in person Aww. as you did. Thank you so on much. The, uh, do on TV. Um, so let's get to know you. You're from Germany. I am. Your yeah. mother is German. She is. Yeah. Your father is Senegalese. Senegalese. Yeah. Your father. Your well, well, your family is very talented in music, so musically inclined, oh, pretty musical. much everyone, right? Yep. You have three, two sisters, mm -hmm. and you have a twin. I do. So what was it like growing up in a musically inclined household? You know, it, to me, because I didn't know anything else, it was so normal. It was just all about music when we were home, and it was more like a fun thing. Um, neither one of my parents did it professionally, but in the house, like, we were always, like, either dancing to music or just listening through all the different genres as well, which I feel like had a big impact on me as an artist because I got introduced to so many different genres from very young, like classical music, jazz music, salsa music. My dad had all, like a whole wall of uh, LPs and we would always pick just from like the pictures or the colors. I remember I was literally like five or even younger than that, just picking the, a lot of instrumental music too that I listened to and I feel like um, that made me later on in life want to pick up instruments because I listened to so much instrumental music as a kid. But me and my sisters were singing before we could talk. Literally, my mom wow. says that we were humming and sing, like mumbling words and things like that. So it was, it was, it was amazing. I remember the most, the most moments that I cherish the most are the ones with music, where music was involved, so. What yeah. instruments do you play? Now I play um, guitar and piano, and that was much later. In my 20s, I started playing instruments, so that's one of my regrets. I say I don't have any regrets, but if I do have one, that I didn't play instruments early in life. <laughs> well, you're very good. I saw um, some of your, couple of your performances on Instagram. You are a phenomenal singer. My gosh, oh, you have a you. lot of range. Thank you. I mean, that also developed, you know, I, I don't think I've always been so good at it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way that I'm now it, it comes when you when when you just love something so much that you do it every day and then you just there's no other way around it but to get better you know that's true you keep going um so you started a you originally started a group with mm -hmm. your twin or identical sister yes. jazz and called my Black older sister we oh, started it was three of us oh, at first black butterfly black butterfly it started as a trio we even had a record deal with def jam in 2006 oh. five six seven and after that my older sister left the group then it was just me and my twin for, okay. for, for another whole and that's when you and your twin left germany to the u.s Oh, that was that was before. That was so. Okay. We left in two thousand and two, and it was the three of us: okay. my twin, me, and my older sister. And we were Black Butterfly. Um, actually, at the time, we had another name, but we were Black Butterfly when we got signed to Def Jam in two thousand six. Okay. So that was our first big record deal, and oh. then um, that didn't really work out. You know, it was around the time that Rihanna, Chris Brown, Neil, all of the now big superstars, oh, yeah. were s signed the same exact year as us. Okay. with the same label, Def yeah. Jam. And it was like this group of new artists, like we were touring together and everything with them. It was amazing. Really? Yeah, and then they all became like these big stars and we were like, what about us? <laughs> it's all about timing. Yeah, it was. It had a lot to do with a lot of different things, politics and a lot, uh, you know, not the right songs, too many people's opinions and right. picking the right singles. And yeah, so we ended up getting um, released from the label per our request. and. Um, you know, because they weren't releasing our music, so we were really frustrated. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. No, she, your sister's in Germany? Now, uh, both of my sisters moved back. Oh, I'm okay. the only one still here 20 years really? later. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Almost 20 years. Okay. And still doing music. And it's still amazing. doing music. Good music, by the way. Um, so when did you start with Love & Hip Hop New York? How did that start? So Love & Hip Hop came way later. After that, both of my deals, I had another record deal after that with oh. my twin. Um, after both of, all of that didn't really bring me the success that I thought it would. Yeah. And um, I decided to be an independent artist, but it was difficult. It was, it was very hard in the beginning trying to just uh, gain a fan base when, when you don't really have an outlet or exposure. Right. So then Love and Hippo came along. Uh -huh. 
Um, and that fell into my lap just by being affiliated with Peter Guns, yeah. <laughs> my ex-husband now, ex um, who I was dating at the time. And they were interested in him and his life. And I happened to be his wife at the time. And <laughs> that's how it all went. <laughs> you know what? It worked for you. Though. Yeah. It and I was like, hell you. yeah, I want to be on TV. Yeah. I'm going to finally get to showcase yeah, exactly. me who I am as an artist. But it did not go that well. But. Well, you know, <laughs> you have your ups and your downs. But yeah. you take the, the best out exactly. of it. Exactly. That's right? what I try to do. So are you and Peter, are you guys still, uh, how's your relationship? Oh, we before? are. We've been divorced. Okay. I've moved away from, the, you know, he he's from the Bronx, New York. That's where right. we met. Um, I moved to California like eight years ago. We oh. haven't been together since oh okay. Okay. <laughs> so we've been divorced and I've started a whole new life I mean I got my beautiful two daughters right who contribute so much to my you know even my music now and um, people are kind of that watched me on the show they feel like that's still my life but that's like so far <laughs> in my past to what you guys have seen we relate um, yeah I, I I've done so much and just so much on my own and done a lot of healing and a lot of writing put out album after album, year after year. Like, I've yeah. never stopped making the music. What is it that keeps you writing music every day? I know you have a large vault of music. You have about 500 or, or hundreds of songs hundreds. that haven't even been released yet. Yeah. What motivates you? And what's the creative process behind the writing? Okay, so um, motivation. So I sometimes, I have moments too, even there was a whole year where I was like uninspired and I was like, Damn, is it gonna ever come back to me? Because I like to have it be really naturally. Like, if I make a project, I don't like to be under pressure. Like, oh, I have to make these songs. Like, I can't work under pressure really well. So I, I then try to just live life and do other things until it, I, I know that it always comes back to me for some reason. Um, and then, you know what motivates me is crazy, but listening to my own past uh, creations and albums. Okay. It's like, damn, I did that. I made that song. Wow, that's amazing. Like, I can do this. <laughs> like, yeah. I, that means I can do it again if I did it before. And so it motivates me to listen to my own stuff. That's one thing. And then just life and my kids. And just because it's the one thing throughout my entire life never went away and always has brought me the most joy. So I know that I will make, be making music forever in okay. whatever shape or form. Because people are like, oh, you know, you're you're still trying to make it in music. I'm actually not trying to make it. I am making music, yes. And that's my, my only goal is to express myself mm -hmm. and to be who I am and to um, let my voice be heard in this world for whoever cares, you know. And I've been doing that. It makes me happy. So I will never stop. <laughs> <laughs> and you should not. What about your kids? Are they musically inclined? They love music. I feel that. like um, they actually also love teaching themselves, which is so crazy to see, because I taught myself how to play both instruments. And okay. they, they will sit at the piano for a very long time. I'm like, wow, do you have this for me? Or like, you know, I have my instruments out in my living area. So it, when they're bored, they do the piano and just play around. That's good. I, maybe I should start teaching them, but I haven't yet. But they love music. They love dancing. They love, especially my youngest, she's so outgoing and loves the camera. And I feel like she might be doing end up end up doing something like you know like in the spotlight yeah we'll see i see it well both of her parents are already in this yeah. business so why not entertainment <laughs> so tell us something about you that most people don't know um okay maybe well first <laughs> off that I, my first language is german so some people say i talk weird it's my accent oh, and it's okay. also because you know um, i grew up speaking german i didn't speak english till like went to school and we learned a little bit there, but I never really spoke this language until I actually moved to America. I was 19. So uh, German is my first language. A lot of people don't know that. And they also may not know that um, I'm also a yoga teacher. That's new. Oh. I'm a yoga teacher now. I'm so proud of it. I say it everywhere. Um, but I, um, yeah, I'm I'm very much into health these days, and um, I just, um, I wrote two books. One of them is about a balanced lifestyle and a happier, healthier you, because I feel like I figured out for myself what, what works for me to, to you know, just um, feel good in the day-to-day -day life. We are yeah. so stressed, and especially oh my moms. Gosh. Yeah. And I kind of have my little routines that I wanted to share. So I put out a book called My Dishes and More. It also has recipes in it. Oh, really? And I'm like, I'm like every woman in a way. Like I like to say that about myself because I do a little bit of everything. Like right. I'm very 
artistic and artsy and I'm very peaceful. And I feel like the reality TV has had a lot of judgment on someone they don't really know. Mm. Like, that's why I wrote my other book, The Other Woman. It, it, it talks about who I really am. Okay. So, yeah. Where can, where can people purchase your book? And they're both available on Amazon. Okay. So it's The Other Woman by Amina Panky and then My Dishes and More by Amina Panky. Okay. And I'm really proud of both of them because I really wrote them by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So. And your latest album, 4.0. And 4.0 is my baby as well, just because it was entirely produced by me, wow. myself. Congratulations. You know, I'm not just um, a singer, a songwriter, but a producer as well. Um, I make beats, I play my instruments, and I love, that's my, my favorite way to write a song is pick up my instrument, come up with some chords, then come up with a melody, and then come up with, like, whatever the melody makes me feel, whether it's melancholic or sad or happy or powerful that's where I go with the lyrics the lyrics always come last for me so okay. yeah I'm 4.0 ham is my latest album um, that I created just all by myself and I'm really proud of it yeah congratulations so you you created your album 4.0 now what are you working on now? Are you, do you have another album coming out? So soon? now, so because 4.0 writing? came out last year. So oh, yes. um, I'm still letting people know just because I feel like nobody knows. Like, you know how many times I'm like online or live or in an interview and people don't even know that I even have albums out? So yeah. I'm I don't like, know how incredibly talented. The 4.0 is because it's my fourth album. Oh, so why. there's three other ones before that that I also absolutely love. I'm just so in love with what I create and um, just that alone makes it all worth it for me even um, even though I might not have that, that reach and that big, you know, charting and awards and all that stuff. It, what matters is that I'm putting it out in the world and um, so 4.0 is my fourth album. I also have an album with my twin sister, the Black Butterfly oh, album. Black Butterfly, that's right. And that wasn't with the label. That was independent. That was in 2020. It has 20 songs on it. It's, it, it was a great process because we did it throughout um, quarantine and stuff. 20 songs. 20 songs, yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of music out there on is. me, and I never stopped creating. So I dropped a new single a month ago. It's called Problems. And I'm currently just writing for whatever's next. So we'll see if when I have enough songs for maybe an EP or a new, another album, I'll put that out. And that's the great thing about being independent. You can just do it on your time. Or you could take some music out of your vault. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of songs that probably would need some, you know, re, re, remaking. Mm -hmm. But, you know, like songs that I recorded years ago, they okay. probably would have to be reproduced. But um, I've been writing new stuff because I feel like I'm a new such a new person yeah. <laughs> that it needs to be current. Like I need to write about who I am now. Right. And that's what I love the most. I, I've been doing that. So yeah, okay. that's coming. It's all coming. So you're renewed. Yeah. You're refresh. You got and I'm, I'm grown too. I'm different than when I was younger. Right. That's what happens to us, right? <laughs> no, I see it just I from like listening to, to you and Thank talking you. to you. Matter of fact, it's been a pleasure talking oh to God. you. Oh my God. Thanks. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. This is great. Yes, I get to show who I really am. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you check out Amina's music. Follow oh her goodness. on Instagram. Yes. She's giving out Jules music uh -huh. just about every day. She's playing freely, happily, and it's, it's inspirational, actually. I'm authentically who I really am, and I know we like to show. I do also love to show mostly positivity. I mean, yeah. who likes to show negative things? But I'm not ashamed to talk about my struggles and the things that I may not be good at and that I've the mistakes that I've made so I'm never ashamed of that but of course I love spreading positivity and making people feel good and that's mm -hmm. that's what I try to do with my music too it comes across too Thank on your social you. media oh yeah, good absolutely. I'm happy so follow follow Amina for yeah, some yeah, Amina inspirational um, posts every day yeah um,